Hey everyone, uh, we are back going to Aldi's. Um, this is going to be the second, um, I guess, well, not second part, but this is going to be the first part of our North next video. Left onto North King My uh, whole schedule has been all messed up. Um, Okay. I, wow, I, uh, everyone, I am having a completely off day, completely off day, um, now turn right on to 7th Avenue East, okay, well, this is gonna be not the right road we're supposed to be on, um, at all, <laughs> wow, um, let me, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. Just gonna see how it does here. Now turn left onto Maple Street. if I've ever been down this street ever in my life. Um, yeah, we're just kind of going on a detour here. <laughs> I guess some new birds to test on. It would have been different for sure. Let's see, we are on the wrong side of the road. It is not doing well without lines on the road here. Gonna avoid that pothole that was right there. In 500 feet, turn so that was definitely a disengagement. And hopefully, maybe. Oh, uh, well, it's a snapshot there. Maybe that'll correct that. This is gonna be back on the normal route once we're. Okay. Went the wrong way here, so that's gonna be another disengagement. It probably could have gone straight and turned, but it's literally a dedicated uh, yield turn lane there for this purpose. So it seems uh, seems like it should take that, even though it's technically probably okay to do do the other one. Destination is on the left. Okay, I'm having to hold the accelerator so it doesn't stop in the middle of the road. Just trying to stop for these signs here again. This do not enter in there's a stop sign for the pedestrians. And it's just trying to stop for the stop sign. It thinks it's right here, but it's not. I think this route's always gonna get a disengagement. Again, I'm not okay with poor routing. We should not be okay with it going the wrong way. It's completely unnecessary. To go that direction. Now Completely right unnecessary. I'm gonna correct it every single time, unless I just don't pay attention. We are completely open. Good to go. Feet, your destination will be on the left. Okay, I braked for that car turning out, thinking that car was gonna run into me. And we made it here. Your destination is on the left. Not sure what the no. Yeah, we're gonna go in here and go grab some groceries and we'll be back out. Okay everyone, let's see how it does on this turn out of all these here. I don't think, I don't know if it's ever once made this turn. Well, okay, no, once it did. I don't know what version it was. It's so rare to make this turn that it just, it just doesn't.
So the GPS is accurate. And it, the little marker here is accurate. There's two cars coming on the right. Um, wow, okay. If I let it go, it would have gone because I didn't see the blinker and I guarantee you this car did not see the blinker either. But um, it just decided to go for it even though a car was coming. And so that, that type of behavior still exists with 10.9 and is... I just, I don't see, like, there's no progress in the last few updates at all regarding that. And so it just, it's that type of stuff that dis discourages me from thinking, like, well, every, not, like, not even close, we'll get level four this year. We might get decent level three uh, by the end of this year. But it's, if those things stay version over version, that's what discourages me and makes me think we might not even get good in level three this year. Like, if those things just stick around version after version after version like it shouldn't happen it just needs to creep forward a little bit more cautiously and then and then check make sure there's no cars coming it needs to add the blinker logic so then like the car could have seen it okay that car is slowing down blinker logic is on it is turning and now we are good to go but it didn't even check from the left it had snow banks in the way so it didn't even check from the left that there was a car hidden behind those snow banks and so it's just those type of things it can't do uh, currently, and it, it, no version ever has. And so those are the things we're looking for, version over version, to get us to level four. Let's see if we can make it through this light. I really hope so. Now turn left onto Four Seasons Boulevard. Looks like it's gonna do it. Okay. Failed to turn properly. It's starting to go into the wrong lane there. It's, I'm not having the best test. I think the snow is really throwing it off. And I'm not just, I'm having a pretty off day myself. But um, 10.9, there's a couple things that are better. I'm just fine, I'm having a very hard time finding things that are actually better about 10.9. Uh, everything else seems to be like a downgrade. But it's just, it could be purely the situation that I'm putting it in. Could be more traffic. Uh, could just be we got the light at the wrong time compared to the last last update. Because I don't do this like five times a week or anything. I don't do this like this type of route like once a week or so. And so it's not like we do it a whole bunch of times to see, hey, it, uh, is it going to mess up the same way every single time with the same version? But um, those are the type of things. It's it's so time consuming to be able to do a test like that. Whether it's worth it or not, I'm not sure. Okay, so right here is a good spot. It could go ahead and get over. And it's still not gonna get over. I'm gonna try and get in front of this car maybe. See, this stresses me out right now. It's starting to turn on the blinker now. Okay, I'm gonna go make it. I'm accelerating it so it can get over. And I had to turn the blinker on again so it would get over into the the on ramp. So I accelerated it to get past that car. That it just got lucky right there. I, I do not like getting in that lane so late. I'd rather get stuck at the light. I would rather personally. Um, get uh, uh, behind another car because it just doesn't uh, it's too risky that you're going to then miss the on ramp and then have to go, it's way more time consuming than to miss that, have to go way up and around than it would be just to uh, get behind another car and 9 times out of 10 you're just going to be one car length behind
depends on this lane change here. Because we're not too far away. And this, this car isn't going slow enough to justify getting over. Not to mention, I think they just sped up. does seem to be better deceleration coming off the on-ramp, at least in this spot, for sure. We are all clear and good to go. Okay. <laughs> it told me to use the accelerator to continue, but it, like, it creeped and then stopped in the middle of the road. And so I went and pressed the accelerator to get it to continue. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and run this a little bit slower. The snow is definitely freaking it out here, but otherwise, again, 10.9, uh, This uh, we're probably not gonna do too many videos on this version. There's a lot going on in the back side of my life right now. Um, but I'm hoping these will kinda give you an idea from my perspective of these test routes, what what's going on with 10.9. So far, not a lot different. Um, if I'm able to make it up to Astral, we'll definitely test that. Otherwise, I, I think we'll um, go with just a, a handful of videos for this update, and then I think we'll get back into the rhythm and everything with the update after that. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and put them down below, and I'll glad to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.